Right now, we will proceed to the Chapter 3 of the PDC entitled Performance Standards for Distribution and Supply. The Chapter 3 specifies the performance standards for the distribution and supply of electricity to ensure power quality and the efficiency and reliability of the distribution system. It also specifies the customer services that are necessary for the protection of the end users in both the captive and contestable markets. The safety standards for the protection of personnel in the work environment are also included in this chapter. Purpose and scope. We have the first one in purpose, which is to ensure the quality of electric power in the distribution system. B. To ensure that the distribution system will be operated in a safe and efficient manner and with a high degree of reliability. C. To specify customer services for the protection of the end users in both the captive and contestable markets. And the last one, to specify safety standards for the protection of personal in the work environment. For scope of application, this chapter applies to all distribution system users including distributors, suppliers, embedded generators, and end users. Power quality problems. For the, pur for the purpose of this article, power quality shall be defined as the quality of the voltage including its frequency and the resulting current that are measured in the distribution system during the normal conditions. A power quality problem exists when at least one of the following condition is present and significantly affects the normal operation of the system. The first one is the system frequency has deviated from the nominal value of 60 Hz. B. Voltage magnitudes are outside their allowable range of variation. C. Harmonic frequencies are present in the system. D. There are, there is rather, there is a imbalance in the magnitude of the phase voltages. E. The phase displacement between the voltages is not equal to 120 degrees. F. Voltage fluctuations cause flicker that is outside the allowable flicker severity limits or high frequency over, over voltages are present in the distribution system. Uh, for the purpose of this section is that yeah, the voltage duration shall be defined as the uh, deviation of the root mean square or the RMS value of the voltage for its uh, nominal value and expressed in percent and this voltage duration will be either long or short duration. A short duration voltage variation is defined variation of RMS value from nominal voltage for a time greater than one half cycle of power frequency but not exceeding on one minute. It's well if the RMS value of the voltage increases to between 110% and 180% of nominal value. It is a voltage sub or voltage dip if RMS value of voltage decreases to between 10% and 90% of nominal value. A long duration voltage variation shall be defined as a variation of RMS value of voltage from nominal voltage for a greater time than 1 minute. It is under voltage if voltage variation is less than or equal to 90% of nominal voltage. Also, it is over voltage if RMS value of the voltage is greater than or equal to 110% of nominal value. The distributor shall ensure that no under voltage or over voltage is present at connection point of any user, user during nominal operation condition. The ERC may require the distributor to comply more stringent voltage variation limits which shall be determined from technical and economic studies. Distributor shall ensure that distribution system has sufficient capacity so that voltage sag when starting large induction works will not adversely affect any user, facilities, or equipment. And now we'll be talking about harmonics. 
Um, harmonics is defined as sinusoidal voltages and currents having frequencies that are integral multiples of the fundamental frequency. So we have the total harmonic distortion, which is defined as the ratio of the of the root mean square or the RMS value of the harmonic content to the RM, to the RMS value of the fundamental quantity expressed in percent. Uh, we also have the total demand distortion or the TDD, which is defined as the ratio of the RMS value of the harmonic content to the RMS value to the rated or maximum fundamental quantity expressed in percent. Hi everyone, so for today, uh, I'm going to discuss my same topic in chapter 3. You know, uh, the last two parts of harmonics uh, under the power quality standards for distributors. On the first is, at any user system, the THD of the voltage shall not exceed 5% during normal operating conditions so thd means total harmonic distortion and it says that the voltage must not uh, exceed five percent second uh, the last part uh, of the harmonics is at any it says that at any user system that tdd of the current shall not exceed five percent during normal operating conditions uh, uh, this last two parts of harmonics are the, just the same situation, but the only difference is that this first part is um, it say it talks about voltage, you know, and then this, in the last, and then this last part is it talks about the current, you no, know, but they have the same exceeding percentage, you no, know, it that it must be five percent. Okay, next. Okay, now. Uh, proceed to this voltage and balance now another another part of power quality standards for distributors uh, uh, voltage and balance has two parts oh, the first one states that for the purpose of this section voltage and balance shall be defined as the maximum deviation from the average of the three phase voltages divided by average of the three Phase voltages express in percent. The second part, the maximum voltage and balance at the connection point at, of any user, excluding the voltage and balance pass on from the grid, shall not exceed 2.5% during normal operating conditions. So that's all. Flicker severity. For the purpose of this section, flicker shall be defined as the impression of unsteadiness of visual sensation induced by a light stimulus whose luminance or spectral distribution fluctuates with time. In the assessment of the disturbance caused by a flicker source with a short duty cycle, the short-term flicker severity shall be computed over a 10-minute period. In the assessment of the disturbance caused by a flicker sources with a long and variable duty cycle, the long-term flicker severity shall be derived from the short-term flicker severity levels. So, transient voltages. So, for the purpose of this section, transient voltages shall be defined as the high frequency over voltages that are generally shorter in duration compared to the short duration voltage variation so on transient voltage it is a uh, it has high frequency generally shorter in duration and comparable to the short duration voltage variation and also in frequent short duration peaks may be permitted to exceed the level specified in section 3.2.4 for TDD and THD provided that such increase do not compromise the service to other end users or cause damage to any equipment in the distribution system. Good day everyone, Chapter 3 Performance Standards for Distribution and Supply the topic of criteria for establishing distribution reliability standards. Um, the same reliability indicates shall be imposed in all distribution cases. Uh, distribution utilities is a repository in uh, the cooperative private cooperation of government. So, 
However, the uh, numerical levels of the formats regarded shall be unique to each distribution, distribution to that unit and shall be based initially in its historical, historical performance. So the distributors shall be grouped into different categories which shall be based on the density, uh, sales mix, cost of services, delivery of both voltage and other technical consideration that uh, energy regulatory condition may be appropriate. So the distribution system shall be evaluated once a year or annually to compare its actual performance with the targets. The following distribution reliability indices shall be imposed on all distribution utilities. Ang reliability index is, is like a, a measure of a system's reliability. So there are three reliability index uh, stated in this chapter. We have System Average Interruption Frequency Index or the SIP, System Average Interruption Duration Index or the SID, and we have Mo Momentary Average Interruption Frequency Index or the MIFI. SIFI is defined as the total number of sustained customer power interruptions in a given time over the total number of customers served in the same amount of time. While ang SID is the total duration of sustained customer power interruptions in a given period of time over the total customers served in the same amount of time or the same period. Lastly, my fee is equal to the total number of momentary customer power interruptions within a given period over the total number of customers served in the same period. Chapter 3, Performance for Distribution and Supply A power interruption shall include any outage in, this, in the primary distribution system extending from the distribution substation to the distribution transformers, which may be due to the tripping action of protective devices during faults or the failure of primary distribution lines and or transformers, and which results into loss of service to one or more customers or users. Reliability standards for distributors. The following events shall be excluded in the calculation of reliability indices. A. Outage that occur on the secondary line of the distribution system. B. Outages due to generation transmission line or transmission sub substation failure. C. Planned outages where the customers or users have been notified at least three days prior to the loss of power. Inclusions and exclusions of interruption events. The outage that are initiated by the system operator or market operator during the occurrence of significant incidents or the failure of their facilities. E. Outages caused by the adverse weather or major storm disaster which may result in the declaration by the government of the state of calamity in the franchise area of the distributor. And F. <coughs> outages due to the other events that the ERC shall approve after the due notice and hearing. Performance standards and for distribution and supply. The distributor shall submit every three months the monthly interruption reports for its distribution system using the standard format prescribed by the ERC. The ERC shall set the performance targets for each distribution system after due notice and hearing. So our next topic is all about system efficiency standards for distributors. So first is system loss classifications. System loss shall be classified into three categories, which are the technical loss, non-technical loss, and administrative loss. The first one is the technical loss. The technical loss shall be aggregate of conductor loss, the core loss in transformers, and any loss due to technical metering error. Second is the non-technical loss. The non-technical loss shall be aggregate of the energy loss due to pilferage, 
meta reading errors and meta tampering. Good day, I'm GRJ Intensha and I'm here to report about 3.4.1 system loss classifications. So in 3.4.1.4 that the administrative loss shall include the energy that is required for the proper provisions of the distribution system and any unbuilt energy for community related activities. So in this topic that that administrative loss that needs energy for the proper operations of the distribution system and also any unbuilt energy of that is needed for having a community related activities. Next in 3.4.2 which that is system loss cap. So in 3.4.2.1 that the distributor shall identify and report separately to the ERC the technical and non-technical losses in its distribution system and in 3.4.2.2 that the ERC shall after due notice and hearing prescribe a cap on the system losses that the distributor can pass on its end users. Separate cash shall be set for technical and non-technical losses. So in this topic that the distributor needs to identify and report separately to the ERC that the technical and non-technical losses in its distribution system. And also, the distributor shall submit to ERC an application for approval of its administrative loss. The allowance for administrative loss shall be approved by the ERC after due notice and hearing based on connected essential load. Chapter 3.4.3 Power factor at the connection point Power factor basically means the measurement of how efficiently electrical power is converted into useful work output. And here are the conditions. All users of the distribution system shall maintain a power factor of not less than 85% lagging at the connection point. And with this, the distributor may establish penalties for user power factor that are less than a specified target level and incentives for user power factor that are greater than the target level. And also, the distributor shall correct feeder and substation feeder bus reactive power demand to a level which will economically reduce feeder loss. So, moving on to 3.5.1.1 in the Customer Service Standards for Distributors and Suppliers. So, 3.5.1.1 highlights that the Customer Service Standards for Distributors and, and Suppliers shall be associated with the following. Guaranteed Standards and the Overall Standards. So, these two, the Guaranteed Standards and Overall Standards, are crucial and they must be considered in meeting a certain acceptability level of a customer service. So, the first one here is Guaranteed Standard. So in 3.5.1.2 states that Guaranteed Standard shall refer to the customer service where a penalty is imposed on the distributor or supplier for failing to meet the target level of performance. So the next is Overall Standards. In 3.5.1.3 states that Overall Standards shall refer to the customer services where it is not appropriate to give a guarantee, but where the customers have a right to expect the distributor or supplier to deliver a reasonable level of service. Measuring Customer Service Performance The evaluation of the customer service performance of the distributor or supplier shall include prescriptive approach and customer rating approach. In the prescriptive approach, the distributor or supplier shall file an application with the ERC for the approval of its customer service program including the specified levels of performance or targets. While in the customer rating approach, the distributor or supplier shall commission an independent entity accredited by the ERC to conduct a transaction survey. Customer Service Standards for Distributors The distributor shall submit to ERC for approval the target levels for the customer service listed in Table 3 to 1. The distributor then shall justify the basis for the target levels of performance. Good day everyone! Part of this Chapter 3 is the Customer Service Standards for Distributors and Suppliers. 
Let us go first to distributors. The distributor shall submit to ARC for approval the target levels for the customer services listed in the table 3 to 1. And then the distributor shall justify the basis of the target levels of performance. After this, the distributor shall be evaluated annually to compare its actual performance with the targets. Next is for the customer service standards for suppliers. Here is that the supplier shall submit to ARC for approval its target levels for the customer services listed in Table 3 to 1. And then the supplier shall justify the basis for the target levels of performance. Next. 3.5.4.2 The supplier shall be evaluated annually to compare its actual performance with the targets. Next is the 3.5.4.3 .3, The customer service standards for suppliers shall serve as a safety net that will protect the customers during the early stages of the contestable market. Once the benefits of competition have been fully realized by the customers, these standards may be withdrawn by the ERC. We have here the Table 3.1, which is the customer service standards for distribution utilities. So number one, processing of application including estimates of charges. Its measure of performance is the number of days upon submission of complete requirements. 2. Service connection. Number of days upon compliance with all government and distribution utility requirements. 3. Restoration of service after a fault interruption on the secondary side, including service drop or lateral. Number of hours, 400% restoration. 4. Quality Power quality complaints. For the measure of performance, we have visit within X number of working days after receipt of complaint or substantive answer within Y number of day and correction of power quality problems within Z number of months. 5. Informing customers on schedule of power interruptions. Announcements X number of days prior to the scheduled interruptions. So, we experience this, di ba, kana? Um, especially when whole day ang mga power interruption, like 8 hours ang power interruption. So, kibali ahead of time or like a week or 5 days before the scheduled power interruption, kita mismo as customers, gina, um, gina aware sabta or kana nga day nga magready sabta kay kana siya mag power interruption. And then, Six is responding to emergency calls. Response within X number of hours after receipt of call. So, um, there are times nga mag power interruption nga unscheduled, like mo, mo last siya for an hour or minutes lang ba. And for this of the, upon that, mo call ta sa um, atong cooperative, like, there is mo, like Zeneco. Um, mo tawag mi sila if Matawag mi if mag brownout diri sa mga nga kuan, unscheduled and it's very important especially nowadays that we are having our online class so electricity is really um, important. 7. Billing queries and complaints. Answer to queries within X number of hours and correction to errors in billing statement within Y number hours or days. And the continuation for the table 3.1, we have number 8, payment queries and complaints. Answer to queries within X number of hours and correction of errors in payments within Y number of hours or dates. Next, we have number 9, meter complaints. Visit within X number of working days after receipt of complaint or substantive answer within Y number of days and correction of meter problems within Z number of weeks. 10. Reconnection of service. Reconnect within X hours after payment of all dues, provided payments is made before a specified cut-off time. And lastly, number 11, making and keeping of appointments. Specific time is given to the customer and seeing the customer at the appointed time. This is um, really very important, especially now we are in a pandemic, so it is important to have um, appointment first before going to the establishment or to the office of the corporate cooperative. 
So in the continuation of the table, in table 3-2, in terms of customer standards for suppliers, so in customer service, the provision of supply and metering services within X numbers of days after agreement for supply has been made. While in billing queries and complaints, and the same with payment queries and complaints, is first is to answer the queries within X number of hours and correction of errors in, in billing or payment statement within Y numbers of hours or days. In meter complaints, visit within X number of working days after receipt of complaint or substantive answer within Y number of days and correction of meter problems within Z number of weeks. In reconnection of service, reconnect within X hours after payment of all dues, provided payment is made before a specified cut-off time. In making and keeping of appointments, first a specific time is given to the customer and lastly seeing the customer at the appointment time. While in responding to customer letters, it will be measured within X number of working days. So moving on to the chapter three, article six in safety standards for distributing duties and suppliers in section one, adoption of PEC and OSHS. In subsection one, the distributor shall develop operate and maintain its distribution system in a safe manner and shall always ensure a safe work environment for its employees. In this regard, the ERC adopts the Philippine Electrical Code, the PEC, Part 1 and Part 2, those are two separate bo books set by the Professional Regulation Commission and the Occupational Regulation Commission and Occupational Safety and Health Standards, which is the OSHS set by the Bureau of the Working Condition of the Department of Labor and Employment. So in subsection 2, the Philippine Electrical Code, both part 1 and 2, shall govern the safety requirements for the electrical installation, operation, and maintenance. In part 1, it pertains to the wiring system and premises of end users, while in part 2, covers electrical equipment and associated work practices employed with electric utility. Compliance with these codes is mandatory, hence the distributor and the supplier shall at all times ensure that all provisions of these safety codes are not violated. So now let us proceed to chapter 3.6. So the OSHS protect every working man against all dangers through safe and helpful working conditions. In fact, under 3.6.2, the measurement of performance for personal safety, Rule 1506 specifies the measurement of performance for personal safety that applies to both distributors and suppliers. So the pertinent portions of this rule are reproduced as follows. So there are four. First, exposure to work injuries shall be measured by the total number of hours of employment of all employees in each establishment. Second, Employee hours of exposure for calculating work injury rates are intended to be actual hours work. So if the, the actual hours are not available, estimated hours may be used. Third, the disabling injury or illness frequency rate shall be based upon the total number of deaths, permanent total, permanent partial, and temporary total disabilities which occur during the period covered by the rate. And lastly, the disabling injury or illness severity rate shall be based on the total of all scheduled, scheduled charges for all deaths, permanent total, and permanent partial disabilities, plus the total days of the disabilities of all temporary total disabilities which occur during the period covered by the rate. Well, under the section 3.2, 6.3 The distributor or supplier shall submit to ERC copies of records and reports required by the OSHS as amended, which shall include the measurement of performance specified in Section 3.6.2, which was discussed earlier. 